All right, hey, uh, Mike McGrody here. Mondays with Mike. It's Wednesday, but this is Mondays with Mike. I think it's Wednesday, isn't it? Yeah, already. Yeah. All right, so anyway, um, it is May what? Amber 28th? 28th. 28th. So we just finished our plant sales for spring. Um, we did three weekends. So this weekend was our last week. We, we did the 10th. That's a Saturday. The 10th, the 17th, and the 24th. We sold three days every um, each weekend. We really, we really hit it out of the park. We had some bigger plants, and we sold some of that stuff. But what I found was the same thing I saw last fall: is that the people are going crazy over the small plants, the 497 stuff. You know, I, I don't want to brag, but I want people to understand that the the, the possibility is real here. I sold plants 10 years ago or 11 years ago and it worked fantastic. I started back up last year, it worked good. This year, in, in three weekends, we sold $20,900 worth of plants. The majority of those were $497 in a small pot, not a huge plant. So, And I'm only telling you that to make you realize that this market is alive and well. In the Backyard Growers Business Center this morning, I was talking about people who don't have enough stuff for a plant sale you really should be selling that stuff to your fellow backyard growers you know for a in a container so like a three inch container a buck a piece um in a you know if it's in a 497 pot you can wholesale to them for two and a quarter it, it and it, you want you sell 100 at a time that way i just got off the phone this morning and i ordered god i don't even know i i, I know i ordered 12 1500 different plants and they're all in three inches three inch containers because we sold so much stuff that we got to catch up. If you lived right there and you told me you had 300 or something, I'm like, hey, bring it here. I'll come pick it up. I'd buy it. It's that simple. So don't let that escape you. All right. Now, these are hardwood cuttings. There's a couple things here I want to point out to you. One, these are the wooden flats that I made last winter. If you look back, we, we had these stacked up in the barn. Uh, they're made out of 1x4 pressure treated. I love the flats. They are great for hardwood cuttings. So I... We stuck these cuttings in when? December? We did the sand cherry. It was probably in January, right? That sounds right. Yeah. So I just tried to pull up a sand cherry, and, you know, they're not all rooted. I see some that haven't, haven't that aren't doing anything, but a majority of them are rooted. This stuff here is rooted to the point that I can't even get it out of the flat. Back here, I've got golden curls. There's a bunch of golden curls willow here. Um, this is one I pulled out just to show you guys. We'll come in kind of tight. So you can see the root system, but what's interesting is we got a pretty shaky looking root system, but look at all the new growth on top. Now, the important thing about hardwood cuttings, there are plants that do well as hardwood cuttings. The rest of them don't bother. Don't waste your time trying to do things that don't do well. In the back of Easy Plant Propagation, I've got a whole list of, what, what's that chapter called? How to do what and how to... Yeah, how to do what, I think. And it'll tell you what you can do as a hardwood cutting. And those rules aren't aren't carved in stone, but it's a good place to start. But anyway, we're going to be potting this thing. We'll let them go a couple of months. I moved the flats over here on plastic because I don't want them rooting into the ground. So when I go to pot them, I'm, I'm not going to seriously disturb them. So let me put this thing back where I got it here. These are dappled willow. Um, they're, they're rooted to the point I can't even get them out of there. So anyway... We got some grape cuttings in there. The grape cuttings don't look to be hitting it out of the park, but a majority of them, there's a, a large percentage of them that are showing some leaf growth and, and looking pretty good. But nonetheless, we've got we got so many cuttings right here, I'm not even sure what to do with them. I don't think I have room for them. All right, let's take a break, and we're, I want to show you the softwood cuttings that we're getting ready to pop. These were softwood cuttings that we stuck last June and July, most of them. Um, we had a whole block of burning bush in here, I think at least 500. We've already potted those up and got them out. So the rest of this stuff, these plants, this is how they spent the winter. Just like this, in this sand frame, outside, it was 15 degrees below zero. Many days were below zero. Look at them, they did fantastic. So um, again, this is my, you know, this sand is extremely coarse. You can see there's a lot of pebbles in here. But I guess my point is don't complicate a simple thing. Sand, cuttings, intermittent mist. It works like magic. Now, I want to show you how I built my plant propagation beds because that seems to be, people are trying to make that way too complicated. So I'm just going to go over here 
And here's a couple of frames that I, I was using them for something else, but basically this is a plant propagation frame. This is a two by eight, so we got seven and a half inches. I like making the sand seven and a half inches deep because when I take the cuttings out, they're not rooted into the ground. I will level the ground, I'll get rid of the weeds, I'm not gonna put weed barrier, I'm not gonna put screen, I'm not gonna put anything fancy. I'm gonna set this frame on the ground, I'm gonna fill it with sand, and I'm gonna set up my mist system, I'm gonna stick it full of cutting. Simple as that. Propagation frame. One, two, three, four boards. Count them, four boards, that's all you need. Don't complicate a simple thing. Ready to go, I can fill that thing with sand and stick it with cutting, so anyway, this is Mondays with Mike. We're going to keep it kind of short. You know, you may want to watch this thing more than once because I just gave you a ton of really good information. So, hey, we'll see you in a week.